because she has built her career off of sympathy and payola. Play Barbie dreams, let's go. Let's go. Girl. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Esther Shanae. Welcome back to The Juice. All right, y'all. So I was on Queen Radio, minding my business, being nosy, when I came across the obvious fact that Nicki Minaj was throwing not shade, child, not even palm trees, more like solar eclipses at Cardi B. Y'all know I love the messiness, so I picked up my microphone and I started recording. Now, I got the first part of it where she was really going off, and then I decided that I would go live, and that's the part that y'all heard. But, child, this video, this video is the audio from where she first started going in and going off on Cardi B. Now, y'all know Cardi B is my best friend in my head, but I also have an advanced degree in nose ratchetology, and I'm here for the mess anytime, any place. Now, I knew she was going to be a little messy, a little messy on the radio show, but I never, ever, 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 ever in my life would have thought Nicki Minaj would have went in on Cardi B like this. Take a listen. Okay. Okay. I might have a, a, a surprise in a second. Now, there's something that I want to play. He's, he, you guys, he's, um, what is this? He's on a, what am I doing? Who's playing something? Okay. Where's that link, Boof? Plug it in and play this real quick. And then I'm going to come back. I want y'all to listen to this and then give me two minutes and I'm going to come right back. I got nice food up here and everything. This is nice. I'm the queen, Flex. Nice. There's good snacks. Yeah, I'm the queen, boo. You know my team on point. A lot of good snacks, a lot of good food. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I'm lit. Now, I've been meaning to ask you, yes. Nikki. I know, the, I know your head bar. Okay. I, who's second in command, Bob? Because I've never met that person. Does that person exist or there's, there's no, look, you can't tell me? Who would be the head, the second in command, yeah, Bob? Yeah, is there I a second? No, is there a second, is there a second I, person? I don't think so. Who, who handles the barbs when you're not around? <laughs> That's what I was wondering. Not you. <laughs> no. Well, you've been doing that today. Thank you for uh, I, I, thank you, you for the bobs for accepting me back. I appreciate it. <laughs> right. Yeah. They was ooh, And I'm glad that I'm friends with you again before you got this radio show. <laughs> oh. And I didn't my. have to be cocksucker of the week. <laughs> oh, that's so, a terrible. I'm, I'm sorry. Is that even it? What's the right word? Cocksucker word? of the day. Man. Yeah, and sometimes it's gonna get cocksucker of the week. Now somebody it just hurts. made the it cocksucker. Hurts. Somebody just made the cocksucker of the day. Look, flex. They made the cocksucker of the day award. Mm -hmm. Wow. Can't wait wow. To, to distribute that. Right. Can't okay. Wait. So play. So how? Press play on that, and then let's let's come back. Hey, like the same way you're kidding. No, from Nothing the beginning, the beginning, me. beginning. I hate when some people come at me and it's like, oh, Cardi, why are you coming at people's kids for? But I'm my mother's kid. Okay. Like oh. the same way your kid is your baby, I'm my mother's baby. You know, if my mom was to be scrolling down and she see people talk about Bring me, that will hurt her feelings. That will Bring it back. Nothing is off limits. I hate when some people come at me and it's like, oh, Cardi, why are you coming at people's kids for? Bring it back. But I'm my mother's kid. Nothing is off limit. I hate when some people come at me and it's like, oh, Cardi, why are you coming at people's kids? But I'm not stop, stop it. I didn't expect this. To now, be, hold on, hold on. Yeah, hold on yeah, now. Hold on. <sighs> okay. So let me just say this. The other night, I was a part of like the something so mortifying and so humiliating to go through in front of a bunch of upper echelon, and it's not about white or black. It's about upper echelon people who are, you know, the people who have their lives together. The way they pass by looking at this disgusting commotion, I will never forget. I was mortified. I was in Alexander Voltaire gown, okay? Mm -hmm. Off the motherfucking runway, okay? Mm -hmm. And I could not believe how humiliated it all felt because we and I use we loosely and I'm gonna clarify we how we 
made ourselves look. And I'm going to get back, but before I go, I want to say that I would never discuss anyone's child. And it's so sad that for someone to pin that on me because I'm the bad guy and they know people would believe them. So let me just go on record having said I would never talk about anyone's child or parenting. I don't care about anyone's parenting. I don't give a shit. And it's so crazy to me that people always need to make Onika the bad guy. If you're right in whatever you're doing, you don't ever have to make someone into the bad guy. Just speak your truth. When you have to say that I said or did something that you know I've never said or did... I didn't see it. Where did... Where, where was that... Where no did clue. It come from? No clue. I, I flex. Just... I have no clue. I just want to let the world know that Onika Tanya Mirage would never, has never, and will never speak ill of anyone's child. I am not... A clown. That's clown shit. And what is well, the other thing that's clown shit is telling or is telling the world that someone said something just so that you don't feel fucking dumb for looking dumb for doing dumb shit. You knew that when that footage came out, you was about to look fucking dumb. So your publicist, who also looked dumb, standing there about to tape, thinking somebody's about to get snuffed or something, put the phone camera out. <laughs> that's not what she, that's not what you be doing. <laughs> okay, so they hurried up and put out a statement, and you know what? I'm such I'm such an ill ass bitch. I didn't even feel the need to defend myself that night and say I didn't say this, I didn't do this, I didn't stop no bags. Give me a break. But I'm gonna get I it. I don't understand how did bags stop? I'm gonna get in. It's a la bunch of lies, but I'm gonna get into it. I just want everybody to marinate for two minutes. I'm finna come. But we did hear this woman who accused me of saying something about her child just say that nothing's off limits, even talking about people's kids. Because she has built her career off of sympathy and payola. Play Barbie Dreams, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Is that my cue? Yes. yes. Because I was done. Any, let's go. Okay. Christ. Brutal love here. Queen Radio. I saw someone write a lot of, well, they didn't write it. Their publicist wrote it. Wrote a lot of uh, lies about me. And, and um, I never normally defend myself, but I can't do that anymore. I have to defend myself and let people know these lies are ridiculous. And if I were to tell you the real things about some of these people, you would be on the fucking floor. So... Let's see. Do we have that late that girl on the phone? There's somebody that I want to get on the phone really, really quickly before I get into some things. Cause we we gonna get into some things. This is about be to be. Clear. A, we go, but yeah. be clear. <laughs> we 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 gonna have to get into some things. Okay. Thank you, Brooke. And you ask her some of the things because you've been talking to her. Now she we can hear her on the mic. All right. Hi, Clarissa. How are you? Hello. Can you hear me? Can she hear me? Clarissa? Yeah, I hear you. All right. Hi, Clarissa. You're on You're on Queen Radio. How are you? Hi, Nikki. How you doing? I'm good. I'm fine. Now, tell us why Brooke reached out to you and what you want to let the people know, because there's millions of people listening, and we wanted to hook up and be there for you. What you wanted to let the people know today? Um, Brooke, you said to tell you what Brooke kicked me up about? Yeah. Yeah, what did you want to talk okay, about? Okay, all right, when she invites me, she asked me to give her my phone number so I could um, come on here and talk about what happened between me and Cardi B. And what, and what happened? What was that? Back in 2014, um, she had posted up an Instagram video. So this was before the, this was right before she got on Love and Hip Hop. And, you know, but, um, she made a video talking about her teeth. She was basically saying, I'm like, oh, I'm not fixing my teeth. I don't give a fuck what nobody has to say. Whatever she was saying. So I had commented on it, and I was like, well, you know, you should just get them done or whatever, not saying it, like, in a bad way, but I'm just saying it, like, saying you don't care what you say, but just do it, whatever. So once that happened, she went to my Instagram, and she must have read my bio, and my bio is saying, rest in peace to my son that passed away. Mm-hmm. So when she read my bio, 
Well, I'm definitely going to need you guys' opinions in this situation because y'all know I don't get other people's business like that. Well, we're about to be out of here, but before we go, we want you guys to leave us a like. And remember to subscribe to our channel for the juiciest gossip commentary around. And don't be shy. Leave us your opinions in the comments. Good, bad, or indifferent. I love them all. And with that being said, you guys, we are out of here.